Continuing on here on Radio Row, Zach Gershman joined alongside by former Arizona Cardinals quarterback Carson Palmer. Carson, you've obviously called Arizona home for a handful of years. What makes this such a great host city for the Super Bowl? Well, it's just amazing that in one city you can have an event like the Waste Management Phoenix Open and a Super Bowl going on at the exact same time. I mean, you've got all the way north, you've got Scottsdale, you've got out out east, you've got Chandler, down south you've got you've got Phoenix, and then you go out towards the stadium and you've got all that development going on out there. So it's a really easy city to na navigate. There's no huge mountains in the middle of it. Obviously we're in the desert, so you can get everywhere kind of on a gridded system. Um, but there's so much here on a yearly basis, whether it's the Final Four, the National Championship of College, um, Super Bowl, Waste Man, like there's so many things and events. There's hotel space, there's Airbnbs, um, and it's just such a, a well-designed city that it makes it actually really easy and pretty uncongested considering, you know, all those things that are going on. Where's your favorite place in Arizona? Favorite place to eat? Wherever. When you think of Arizona and you think of my go-to spot, what's that go-to spot going to be? When I think of Arizona, I think of the sunsets. Um, I think of playing inside State Farm Stadium and playing in front of the Bird Gang and, and the electricity that they brought. Um, but man, I, there's and that's the thing about the city is there's so many great restaurants. There's so many great, the restaurant bar scene here is off the charts. Um, but if I think of one, because I'm a big foodie, I like to eat, I like my food. Um, if I think of one restaurant, I think of Steak 44. Wow, nice. So you mentioned the Bird Gang uh, being the, the, the Cardinals fan base. All eyes are going to be on State Farm Stadium. It's going to be a battle between a different bird being the Philadelphia Eagles and the Kansas City Chiefs. But the home team, the home city being the Arizona Cardinals, they get a set allotment as well for this upcoming game. When the nation looks at this game, what do you hope that they take away from the Cardinals fan base? Well, it's going to be it's going to be tough because um, you know it's, you know when you look at this stadium, you're going to see a lot of green and you're going to see a lot of red, um, and it's not necessarily Cardinals red. But I think you know because this is such a great destination, whether you're in Chicago and you're a Bears flan, fan, or you're a Jets fan in, in uh, the Northeast, when your team plays the Arizona Cardinals, it's a great opportunity to get out of the cold, mm -hmm. you know, in the the fall cold weather and some of the the Midwest and the East Coast cities. And when you come here and the golf courses and the grass is green and it's 70 degrees in December and your kids are at the pool at the hotel you're staying at, um, and then you come into this stadium and your team, whoever that is, is playing against the Cardinals, what you notice from the Bird Gang is just electricity. They are loud. I can't tell you. We, we dominated the league in the amount of false starts because our crowd was so loud when we were on defense. Offensive linemen were always jumping. And so that electricity, that environment that's created by the Bird Gang, um, plus it's in a dome, so it really just keeps that noise in mm -hmm. and loud and tight. Um, that's something that's just spectacular. And it's not like that. I, I played in every stadium and, and been in it, you know, played, you know, everywhere. And it's loud at a lot of places, but very, very few places other than Arizona. Maybe Seattle. Seattle gets loud too, but it is loud and electric in this environment. To go to a different shade of red that you're connected to, being a USC Trojan this past December, Caleb Williams came home with the Heisman Trophy and being a Heisman Trophy winner yourself and knowing how you bring another member of the Trojan family into the Heisman house, was it a different sense of pride knowing that it was a member of the Trojan family? Oh, for sure. I mean, it's just great exposure. You know, it's been a while since USC's been good. Um, you know, it's been a while since, you know, we, we've competed on the national stage. We almost got there, but we weren't ready for it. Um, that team needs to continue to get better and grow and develop. Um, but, but it's just great exposure. I mean, it, we should have the to a top five recruiting class every year. We're in the heart of Los Angeles. We've got, I think, one of the greatest stadiums in the Coliseum. It's hosted Olympics, Super Bowls, you name it, everything uh, from the beginning of time, it seems. And you've got tradition. And now we've got a phenomenal coach in Lincoln Riley. We've got a phenomenal athletic director in, in Mike Bone. So it's it's got all of the makings to be back on the national stage and be able to, you know, it, it's, it's ready to compete on the national stage for national championships, unlike it has been in years prior. We've been, there's been a lot of turmoil. There's been a lot of things going on, coaching changes. And now things are stable and the fundamentals are where they need to be. So I expect 
with a returning Heisman Trophy winner and Lincoln Riley's second year and all the things we have going for us, I expect this to be a huge year for the Trojans. Now let's get to the present day with a level select of the company you're partnered with. Why was it so important for you to join that type of company? I needed it, man. I played 15 years. I had two reconstructive knee surgeries, elbow surgery, thumb surgery, uh, broken bones, plates put in bones torn ligament, oh, you name it, I had it, and I, I was in pain. You know, my last four or five years, I was in pain. I got done playing. I knew I wanted to coach my son's football team. I knew I wanted to coach my daughter's basketball team. I, I've got two other kids that I wanted to chase, and I was looking for something other than a painkiller or another surgery. And so Level Select CBD has been something I started using literally the month I got done playing football. I use it on my knee daily. I use uh, the the gummies at night to help me sleep. I sleep phenomenally. I don't wake up in the middle of the night with that you know shoulder achy pain I had for years. Um, so it it was very it was a necessity for me. It's something like I said I use on a daily basis, and I'm here and I'm happy to say right now, levelselectcbd.com. Go on promo code Carson50, 50% off everything on the site. Once you start using this, you will see the benefits instantaneously. It's not something it takes a month or you got to do it a bunch. You use it once and you go, oh, that actually really works. And then you use it again and again and again. And it helps me. I continue you know, to ski with my kids. I continue to coach them in sports. Um, I chase them. I got a seven-year-old, so I'm still playing tag. And I'm on down on the ground, hands and knees on the carpet, building Legos, all that stuff. So it just, it just enables me and enhances my life with my family. And it's something I got to use every day. If you could kind of compare the two, because wait, being a being a player in the professionals obviously takes a lot out of your body, and when you're in season, staying fit, staying in shape, and trying to stay healthy is as important as one could be. But I think afterwards is the part that a lot of people don't think about, as you said, the effects of what you're currently going through. If you could compare the health benefits while you're working, while you're playing for the NFL or playing in the NFL first afterwards, what's kind of the importance, but also the similarities between the two? Well, I think living a healthy lifestyle is important for everybody. Uh, and obviously, when you're a professional athlete, you live really healthy. But as soon as you stop playing professionally, you have an excuse to not live quite as healthy. And so I got done playing. I was an incredibly healthy, especially at the end of my career. My diet, my stretching, my routines were in, you know, a, a staple in my everyday. Then I got done playing. I was like, man, I don't want to go back in the gym. I don't want to do all these things. Um, and so I moved to Idaho and I love to fish and my exercise and the way I took care of myself was I dropped the kids off at school in the morning and I would go get on the river and I would walk miles and miles and fish different parts of different rivers. And that was my exercise. And that was kind of like my Zen moment where I got to be outside and got to decompress and was thinking about what was next and thinking about my family. And, and um, as opposed to getting in the gym and doing it like I had done it for so long, it was an opportunity to burn a ton of calories see a bunch of beautiful ground, do something I love doing, which was fishing. Um, and then I'd get home at night and I'd be sore. So I knew I was doing enough, you know, to, to, to keep a healthy lifestyle going. And that's about the time I started using Level Select CBD when I would get home and I was walking all day on a river on treacherous terrain with rocks that are moving and slipping. And I'd have aches and pains in my knees. I'd put the Level Select CBD on my knees, on my low back, and I would instantly feel better where I could get down on the ground and play yeah. beat up time with my boys or build Legos or Magna tiles or whatever it was. So, you know, I, I can't say enough about living a healthy lifestyle, staying active. It doesn't need to be in a gym on a bench press machine or on a treadmill pounding dirt. Um, it can be just staying active and, and not sitting at a desk or sitting on the couch watching TV. Carson, thank you so much for, for doing this interview on the AP Pro Football Podcast. I appreciate it. Thanks for having me.